Hi everyone, welcome to Maritime Software Hub, the People Podcast. For those of you that don't regularly tune in, my name's Callum Beaumont. I'm the founder of a search and recruitment agency called Cordell Beaumont. Um, we predominantly specialize in the commercial shipping and the digital shipping space, um, helping companies hire all over the world in role functions such as software sales, product management, um, market research, and leadership. So this episode, I'm going to dedicate it completely to do something slightly different and run through our brand new Cordell Beaumont Academy, which is essentially uh, our platform that we've provided to now showcase and, and house our new online courses. So this episode, I'm going to really run through each of the first two courses that we've got um, uploaded. First one is now live, which is the Digital Shipping Skills Accelerator. Um, really pleased and, and excited just to hear some of the feedback that some of the students have been taking uh, and providing once they've completed the course. So it's very much a work in progress. So we will adapt and build the courses as as we receive feedback to try and um, yeah, to give people the best experience as they go forward. Um, the next course we're going to discuss and the one that is in the final processes of, of being built is the Introduction to Commercial Shipping. Now, this course is slightly different, and this is really going to be, I guess, it, it, hopefully an affordable option for people that are kind of interested in the commercial shipping space, whether they're still a student level, they want to go into either a broking role or uh, join a ship owner, or even more likely, perhaps with the audience listening today, is, is you're working in a, a technology-focused business, you're not from the maritime um space and you want to get an, a good overview quite a solid overview to be fair of the commercial shipping markets so this is going to be a really nice sort of uh, i say a fairly kind of um good entry level into the into understanding the basics of the commercial shipping space um all the videos are in bite size kind of uh two to three minutes sort of videos uh, per lesson but then we have a much more thorough kind of detailed explanation of each topic for that lesson um, at the end of each chapter, you'll have a quiz. So they're going to be quite thorough, um, a lot more thorough, I'd say, than, the, than our initial um, digital shipping skills uh, course. Because uh, this one, I think, really is going to be for people that perhaps are considering taking maybe a, a fully accredited course, maybe that spans six months or a year. And maybe they're weighing up whether they want to do that, or maybe they want to have a look at something a little bit more kind of. Uh, perhaps manageable in a day you could do this and log on um within three or four hours you could have it completed and get a really good understanding of the, the fundamentals of the commercial shipping market um, and then you can keep all the documents you can refer back to it when you want to and obviously you can drip in and out and start um stop and start learning as you please depending on what your lifestyle sort of dictates uh, around work and things so um i hope you enjoy this episode a little bit different um thank you for joining us and uh yeah any questions please feel free to reach out to me or my team um best uh email is info at cordellbeaumont.com or you can link to me directly or send me an email which is callum at cordellbeaumont.com okay so let's have a look and uh talk a bit more in depth about the cordell Beaumont academy and the different courses we provided so for listeners that are perhaps listening in the car uh, or on the headphones uh, while they're away from their desk, um, you probably won't benefit from being able to see the different um, sections of the of, of the course, which I'm going to run through on my screen at the same time. But I will try and share an overview so you can follow as you go along. Um, but essentially, in order to get and access the Cordell Beaumont Academy, um, we've We've housed it within our existing uh, CordellBeaumont.com website. So you can go onto there, click on CordellBeaumont.com, and as you scroll down the homepage, you'll see the Academy section. And also you can go to the menu and click on Academy. Um, when you do, you're going to be greeted by this page, which is essentially a, a welcome page, and it'll house our different courses as we start to build more in time. Um, at the moment, we've got two courses on there. So we've got the Digital Shipping Skills Accelerator course, which is our free course, which is currently live. Um, we've been receiving some some good feedback. And as we've been taking the feedback, we're trying to sort of slightly adjust the, the, the course as it goes along to try and help factor in that feedback and make sure we cover as many things as possible, which is helpful, helpful for people. Um, and the other course, obviously, we'll, we'll talk about more today is, is our brand new course, which we're very close to launching, uh, which goes live on the 6th of, I think 6th or 9th of October. So only in a week or two. Um, 
and that's the introduction to commercial shipping. So each of the course I'll quickly run through now, but both of them you can be found can be found on the website on our academy section. So as you run through the the home page, you'll also see some frequently asked questions uh, that that I can quickly run through now with you, um, and you'll see a section to submit an, submit an inquiry in case you're perhaps if you've got any questions about the course or if you were thinking about that, maybe some, asking some of your your employees or your students to take this course, you got any questions, or you perhaps want to talk about some sort of I don't know, package deal that type of thing, then very welcome to to have a chat about that. Um, you can submit an inquiry, or you can email me directly at callum at dot com. So some of the main questions we've been asked since we've been kind of uh, promoting the the start of this course is as follows as, are as follows essentially. So the main one is being do it, do you need any qualifications? Um, and the answer to that is no. Um, our courses that we offer are purely online; they're on demand. Um, they're not accredited, so they're a very much kind of um, the creation, pretty much of, of my team and, and and our background over the last. 15 plus years or so working in with the commercial shipping space uh, in the maritime technology space and also obviously the recruitment area so you don't need to have any existing courses or, or um, credit uh, certifications um, or qualifications but mainly the main thing to take away is that you can log in anytime you you can be a student you could be ex working in the industry already or a mariner what, whatever your background is anyone can log in um, the courses don't have any specific start dates, so as soon as they're live, essentially on the website, all you need to do is click on the uh, on the enro enroll section on the relevant course you want to start. Um, as long as that course is, is live and set as live, you'll be able to access it, get your logins, and just start straight away. Um, and you'll then be able to kind of stop and start however you like, uh, or if you want to just take the whole course in one sitting, then that, that's no problem at all. Um, each course. The digital shipping accelerator course, I, I think you could finish that in about an hour and a half back to back. If you watch all the videos, take the, the go through the documents and, and, and the quizzes. Um, the introduction to commercial shipping course is, is a lot more in depth. Um, I go through each section in more detail. We've made every lesson and every chapter um, a, a, essentially required. You can't skip through them, uh, unlike the other course where you can skip through them. Um, and the quizzes are a little bit more tricky, um, and you're going to need to have spent some time reading through those documents, listening to the videos, um, and really kind of hopefully giving you a, a good understanding to to get the majority at least of, of the questions right per, on each quiz. Um, okay, so they're the main sort of questions. Um, that we've been facing so far. At the end of the course, we do give a certificate. As I mentioned, it's, we're not an accredited course um, or association. We, we're doing this purely to try and share some of our insights. Um, and, and mainly, the main reason why I start doing these courses, I just think there's a big disconnect between the, the kind of the, the content and the, the, the subjects and the learning material that's out there um, and perhaps what people kind of, a can afford perhaps if there's a starting an industry a lot of these courses are quite uh an investment um in both of terms of money and time um so i thought if, if there's an, another way around where someone can get a good overview certainly enough to get them going um of either the commercial shipping side or the the, the digital shipping markets then this kind of on-demand platform hopefully is a nice kind of um uh yeah a stepping stone into to in the right direction i'll explain a bit more about why uh, the reasons for the course in, in a little moment as well but if we dive into each course um i won't go through it too thoroughly you can look through it in your own time um and when you log onto the website you'll see and on, on each page but essentially the, the digital shipping skills accelerator course uh, as i mentioned high level overview um essentially w when we've been working with different clients and and the candidates we speak to that are perhaps working within this arena. So maybe they're working in the maritime software in, in a, a chartering focused platform company. So like a pre and post fixture solution. Um, their, their knowledge and their 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 day-to-day -day kind of uh, networking and interactions might be very, very focused on that particular space. So they could be mainly focused on speaking to charters, commodity traders, ship owners, ship brokers. 
um, mainly to deal dealing with something to do with the fixing a ship or the insights to help them people fix a ship, that type of thing. So there's lots of other verticals in in the maritime technology space, um, such as vessel performance solutions, weather routing, um, a whole range of things, uh, bunker monitoring, all these different things, e-navigation, satcoms. So w- what we wanted to do is to really provide an overview that, that gives you some introduction to those other verticals as well. Um, and we also talk a bit about the different role functions in those type of companies. So sales, marketing, product management, that type of thing. Um, so when you enroll on the course, you'll, you'll get a, obviously a nice little welcome message from me. Um, and you can start straight away going through the lessons. You get a, the first kind of chapter in, um, the, in, the, in the Digital Shipping Skills Accelerator course is a commercial shipping overview. And this is a high level overview, uh, mainly talking about the kind of the, I guess, the principles in shipping and the intermediaries and what i mean by that is i guess the principles are the key let's say end users decision makers like for example a ship owner a ship manager a charterer um, and they're the people that are going to be essentially either buying or selling a ship moving a cargo from a to b um, and then when i refer to the intermediaries i mean people that kind of help facilitate that kind of trade or transaction so that could be ship brokers port agents uh, a whole range of other kind of uh, intermediaries like marine lawyers, classification societies, that type of thing. So we run through those, but in quite high level, um, just just lightly touch on them. But it gives you a good overview of, of at least what's involved in, in chartering and ship broking uh, and fixing a ship as well. So that will have a quiz at the end of that chapter. And then the next chapter, the main body of the course is going through the different um, maritime t- technology kind of verticals i mentioned so the vessel performance the e-navigation uh port technology um that type of thing so you, you you get to sort of have a little episode on each one um where you can either listen through all of it or if, you, if that one's not of interest to you as much as others you can skip through it uh, then we'll talk about the the shipping kind of cloud computing platforms or cloud computing fa- platforms essentially so software as a service data as a service internet of things these are the the main kind of um, technologies and platforms our clients use uh, and and operate in 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 this space, um, essentially. And then as you go through the course, you'll then see the the different role functions. So we have sales and marketing. I mentioned product management, uh, digital transformation, leadership. And at the end, you finally get a a nice little congratulations message and uh, and a certificate, which you can share on your your, um, social media. And then as we look over the uh, introduction to commercial shipping course, so this role, this particular course is is really kind of, I, I think it's something that's been in my mind for a long time, probably for a good 10, 15 years since my shipbroking days. Um, I was a selling purchase broker. I didn't um, take any formal shipping courses. I I learned from my grandfather and, and my mother when I was younger and started to work uh, with them and then with other bigger ship broking houses a little bit later in my career. So I, at the time, I had the option to do certain courses, go on them. Um, and I, I, I just, just finished university and I didn't want to embark on another six or nine or 12 month course and face quite tough examinations. Maybe I was just, just lazy at the time. I think my head was in a different space. So what I've thought is I, I want to try and find something that's uh, an easy kind of log on, log off uh, introductory course that covers the key areas of, of commercial shipping. And that's what I hope we, we've built or we're, we're just finishing up. Um, so when you go into the introduction to commercial shipping course, you're going to see, obviously, you can enroll, you can do it there and then. And because it's not live, you'll be able to sort of click and uh, you can enroll now and then you'll get access to it as soon as it's um, as soon as it's live we are doing a kind of an early bird sort of special offer at the moment um and that is essentially if you, if you enroll now the course is 149 pounds as opposed to 249 pounds once it's launched in in 12 days or so so hopefully that's kind of some incentive to get people in the door and, and to sort of start to kind of uh uh yeah getting sort of some feedback fairly on from people that start to take the course so the main kind of sections of the course is outlined online but 
unfortunately you can only showcase half of the curriculum there there's, there's there's quite a bit more actually on the course itself but for some reason we're only allowed to highlight a little bit um but essentially as you go into the course you your you or your employees you're going to get a good overview of the diff different commercial shipping markets so we cover dry cargo tankers containers gas uh and chemicals and, and and kind of the more specialized products markets each episode episode yeah each episode and each lesson is going to have a quiz at the end of it so you have a an end of chapter quiz sorry um and as i said these will be compulsory and they'll be quite uh you need to have quite a high percentage to, to pass and to move on to the next chapter um so every lesson is going to have some kind of document supporting it not every lesson will have a video to go with it but the majority of them do We'll then talk about the different types of vessels and, and their dimensions. So it's really important, I think, that people get a good understanding of, of the sizes of ships, the, the types, whether it's a, obviously a dry cargo tanker, but also whether it's a handy, handy max, Panamax. This sort of jargon and, and this sort of language um, really is important to understand, I think, if, if you're going to be selling to, to ship owners or charterers or, or even just talking to other brokers if you're in a broking role. Um, it's important to understand these this kind of language. So, yeah, we run through the different types of cargoes that also so run through the vessel types and also the key cargoes that are that are carried on those ships. Um, we talk about which which countries like the biggest importers and exporters of a certain cargoes and things. So we dive a little bit deeper into that area, um, and then we go through different. Uh, of those principles I mentioned, we, we, we have a bit of a closer look at the ship management companies, ship broking companies, um, and the charters. So when I was uh, I don't know, 2004, 2005, I think it was, no, sorry, 2006, I, I spent nearly a year working in a place, a placement year. Um, I spent a good six or seven months of those living in Greece, working for different ship owning companies, uh, only like a month kind of internship in each one do a, a rotation to get a good feel for what goes beh on behind the scenes of a, a ship owner, essentially. So we're going to dive a little bit into kind of the ship owner structures in this course, have a look at the, the key expenses, like the, the main OPEX operating expenses that, that a ship owner could or well, do, does face day to day. Um, look at their different departments, look at the technical shipping departments, how crew management is operated how the vessel operations teams are generally laid out and what they tend to do uh, and also have a look at their in-house kind of chartering teams that, that work for ship owners um, and similarly on the ship broking side we'll, we'll, we'll deep dive into the role of a sale and purchase broker we'll have a look at the different contracts so the MOAs the Norwegian sale forms uh, I think the different year ones that, that, that uh, have been replaced in 2012 but mainly we'll, we'll just look at the most commonly used ones as examples we won't go into them too much detail um and also kind of other documents that are used regularly when um to tr transport cargoes so bills of lading notice of readiness forms that type of thing but uh, um yeah in in the broking section we're going to go into quite de detail about what a bro what a day in the life is like as a sell and purchase broker chartering broker what they would be doing um what their key role involves we'll look at operations teams as well so looking at pre and post fixture teams looking at the marriage we're not going to go too in deep into how they calculate the marriage and, and looking at voyage estimation costs and, and that type of thing but just going to give you an overview uh, and, and hopefully your employees an overview of what to expect and, and what that kind of role entails um and then we'll also look at market analysis so Lots of shipbroking businesses have very prominent and really, really key uh, research and uh, analysis teams to help their brokers or to help external clients um, understand what's happening in the market and perhaps advise them on the best things, uh, either to what, what's happening in the economy and what, what kind of decisions to make, essentially. So then we'll look at the charters as well, um, look at commodity traders, different oil majors and energy majors go through their role in the kind of the whole shipping cycle essentially uh, and give an overview of that and then finally we'll move on to the more kind of commercial um contract side i talked about the uh charter parties and and the moas for smp but we'll have a look at the charter parties in more detail look at the different kind of differences between the voyage charter and time charter parties um we'll we'll touch on ship registry like classification societies um marine law 
and uh, I can't remember the last one on top of my head. Sorry, I have to look. Oh, yeah, it was um, uh, marine kind of legislation and, and reg- marine mar- maritime regulations is, is the, the other key area. So looking at the latest IMO updates, that type of thing, uh, just so people are aware of them. Again, it will be just one or so pages on, on each topic, some of them going into more details, others less so. And then it'll be followed by quits. So that's the main uh, overview of, of the the commercial shipping course. Um, as I said, this one I think can be done in probably around, let's say, three to four hours, I'd say, making sure you get past each quiz. Um, and there you have it. Essentially, that's the, that's the two courses that we're building now. And I mentioned the reason why I, I, we, we're kind of designing the courses. And essentially, it's because when we're hiring for companies, we found that employers either have two main options. They either want to hire someone that's from the shipping industry. So if we, if we talk, for example, from the perspective of a maritime technology business, they want to, let's say they want to sell their solutions to the ship owner market. And they think, okay, the best person to sell that is probably someone that understands maritime. So they can speak to the head of technical or technical director who works for a ship owner and they can articulate it in their language. They can, they can, they can really go through the value of their solution because they understand shipping. So we get that. Um, and that's why when we've helped hire a number of people within, within those companies in sales roles that we try and that's our, our, our niche is, is marrying up that maritime and that tech experience in, in, in one candidate is really what we try and do. But often, more often than not, there may not be the opportunity to do that. So perhaps you, you might hire or a company might hire someone that's fantastic at sales or, or they're a, I don't know, a broker or something that's not from shipping. Um, but you want to give them an introduction to shipping. So this is what this, where this hopefully this course comes in. Um, it can give them a really good overview. Obviously, every every kind of client that we work with that wants to give it to the team will, will give you a free uh, a free access to the course, so you can at least try it out and have a look and see what you think. Um, and 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 there we have it. I, I think it should hopefully be helpful for people that are new to shipping, um, that, that are a little bit daunted about taking on a full long term course. So this could be like a nice little teaser. And then they go on and take something like the ICS and that type of thing after, which I, which I highly recommend do, doing. Um, so for now, thank you very much for listening. Uh, probably, yeah, slightly different episode this one. Um, but I'm really excited about this new new venture. We're, we're very much 100% still focused on our recruitment. So this is really just another, hopefully another just sort of, I guess, add-on and another little kind of value add we can give to our, certainly to our clients that we work with. Um, and also to just the general market that, that, that could benefit from this. So day to day, we're, we're still focusing on vacancies, filling vacancies and hiring. But this is another little thing, along with our podcast, that I'm really enjoying doing. So hopefully it will uh, add value to you and your teams. So thank you for listening. Um, any questions, as I said, reach out to Callum at CordellBoymont.com. And you can access these courses at CordellBoymont.com. Or just reach out and I can give you uh, um, the links and, and answer any questions. Thank you.